James Kaufman, the World News Report today. Today is April 5th, 2022, 6.30 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, today we've had a very slow day on our star. We are going to do this report rather quickly. Uh, we've actually dropped below a C baseline flare. And we had just a couple of C flares, three maybe, all day long. So we're not as active as we have been for the last week or more. I don't know if they're playing games with us or what, folks, but uh, I guess the EESA was off because we never got pounded by that 100 centimeters cubed of plasma that they forecast and that actually looked like it was headed this way. Uh, the KP index reads quiet sailing All right jumping over to NOAA KP index breakdown forecast April 5th 6th and 7th 2022 they've jumped in and added some fives that's a geomagnetic storm starting tomorrow around my time it would be around noon so from noon to 6 tomorrow and then from 6 to 9 tomorrow night They've got KP5s, then a short break with the KP4 and back to a geomagnetic storm uh, tomorrow evening while we're asleep. Now, that's what they have. Uh, these are brand new predictions. Are these the M flares? They sure look like they would be with the four in between them, but that would have taken them almost 72 hours to get here. So there is some question as to what caused these. Is this that dark filament uh, that popped off yesterday with a CME? Well, if so, it sure lasts a long time. We're talking all of about, well, 15 hours here. All right, head over to Lasco C3. We see a huge halo eruption. Now we have those three small C eruptions coming this way. You would think that this would be off one of the huge sunspots earth facing, but I don't see how it could be, folks. That's a lot of plasma ejection. There is no missing time on LASCO. No Borg cubes that I noticed. We'll go through real slow and... Look for anything that looks just too out of place, folks. I'm looking for that object with the tail. There's one right there. With the little arms, it looks so similar to so many of the other objects that we've seen just like it. Wow, I don't know what it is, but it is there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see if there's anything else that's just too crazy. If y'all see something on Lasco, let me know. I don't see anything too crazy. We're going to jump over to GOES and see what happened. All right, jumping over to GOES, solar ultraviolet imager, 195 angstroms. We've got a coronal hole directly earth-facing. We should see coronal winds starting in about 48 hours. We've got that big sunspot here that's starting to move its way around the sun and several new sunspots coming around the limb. Looks like we have a coronal hole in the South Pole and perhaps a coronal hole even on the North Pole. So I was really hoping to report to you guys that we weren't sucking up the x-rays, but we're still sucking up the x-rays, folks. I guess a B-flare is really all it takes. D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, x-rays as the world turns. The entire day we're getting blasted, and then there at the end, when we get that C-flare, we get blasted harder. So still having x-rays continuously hit our DNA. Now, we seem to have space weather event after space weather event today. Uh, and I've never seen the wind pop up and pop down like this. Pop up and pop down like this. We have it going from about 400 to about 475 several times. And during the well space weather indication, we see that there was a reaction and a drop of plasma and a drop of solar wind. I'm going to take a look at our magnetosphere and see if we can get hit from behind. Behind. We also have more events here that really aren't explainable with our plasma we see here on Discover or with the solar wind speed. So let's take a look. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 
I believe that now we understand what's going on. Something is hitting us from behind. Watch that timestamp. It's continuous all day long. Nothing on the bow, but something heavy is hitting the dark side of our planet. That's planet Earth right there, that little circle. The white side is solar facing, always changing because we're spinning. The dark side's always changing, night facing away from the sun. We're moving to the left in these models at 67,000 miles an hour. The sun's pulling us through the galaxy at 444,000 miles an hour, according to mainstream science. Yet our bow shock is on the back side of our planet. And I do see winds of over 3 million miles an hour coming up from behind our planet. Remember, we're only moving at 67,000 miles an hour orbiting the sun. That's only moving at 440,000 miles an hour. Pretty hard to explain. Soho is now busted. All right, jumping over to STO HMI magnetogram. We can see this stuff coming around the limb here. This was taken at 2100 to 3 p.m., something like that. And we can see by tomorrow, these sunspots will all be Earth-facing enough to be geomagnetically effective. This was what was causing our, I think, B-flare baseline. I think that's going to be departing, luckily. So we're looking okay for the time being, but by tomorrow we should have some more complex sunspots that are earth facing what if i told you they didn't update the picture still and now it's been six days almost a week and soho is down folks the same picture no help whatsoever all right nasa claims that we have six sunspots earth facing uh, i don't really consider this earth facing 2976 2983 2978 2981 2982 and 2985 and i believe that we have several more to be named very very shortly let's take a quick look at our sun here it's been very active this is that big bang from no region right there that we talked about that i believe that they think is going to cause 15 hours of geomagnetic storms tomorrow uh, we have some sunspots as you can see coming around the limb that are going to be very active so we're just getting started in this whole thing. This is again STO at 193 angstroms and 171 angstroms. And uh, well, that pop that happened yesterday is the biggest thing that we've had that did not register on GOES, by the way, because of its nature. Finally getting NASA into the mix with their ISWA spiral. Uh, they have us getting hit on well the 7th or 8th and then again on the 12th i guess let's see maybe the 13th i don't know what would have caused this second blast of plasma zero degrees is exactly the sun and this is the plasma being pushed away from it these spirals are kind of confusing the ropes are actually our geomagnetic connections as we spiral around the sun pulling us through the galaxy at 440,000 miles an hour God bless you and yours, folks. Something behind us, this way comes. Please share, please subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.